Alright, problem 99 through 109, problems 99 through 109 are log equations, so that I would partition those away from the exponential. Okay, um, when you have a logarithm equal to another logarithm, in the same way that up here when I had uh, 5 to this equals 5 to that, the 5's are the same, so um, I didn't need them anymore, right? Well, if I have log of this equals log of that, then I don't need them anymore. So I'm really just dealing with negative 3a equals negative 4a minus 6. And so I just want to solve for the variable a. So I'm going to get all the a's on the same side. So I'm going to add 4a. And I'm left with negative 3a plus 4a is a. And then negative 6 is what I'm left with. And so there's my answer. Okay. On 100, I've got, again, a log equal to another log. So I'm going to mark out the logarithms, and I'm really just dealing with negative 63 plus 3n squared equals 4n squared minus 16n. Okay, now this one, I do. I want to get everything on the same side, and I've got two quadratic terms, um, so I want to move the smaller quadratic term to the side with larger. So I'm going to subtract 3n squared, and I'm also going to add 63 so that I have everything on the same side, because if I have a quadratic, that means I'm probably going to have to factor. So I've got n squared minus 16n plus 63 equals 0. Now, um, in problems like these uh, on the test, if, it's, if it comes under quadratic, it's going to be able to be factored. So we're looking for the factors of 63 that add up to negative 16. So the factors of 63 that, um, that add up to that are going to be 7 and 9, with both being negative. So n minus 7 and n minus 9, okay? Which means the answers are 7 and 9. However, I should always check because log of a negative number does not exist. So I'm going to check and make sure that when I plug those numbers in, I don't get a negative number inside the logarithm. So 4 times 7 squared minus 16 times 7, and that's a positive, so we're good. And then change this to 9's, and that's good. And then, um, yeah, we're going to be good there, because negative 16, uh, 7 squared is 49, and 49 times 3 is greater than that, so we're good. And 9 is even bigger. So those are my answers. All right, 101. So on 101, the idea is to get the variable alone. So we always need to get rid of addition and subtraction first. So I'm going to add 8, and I'm left with log base 9 of b equals 3. And then um, I have a log equal to a number. And anytime I have a log equal to a number, we want to convert to an exponential. So we would say 9 to the third equals b, and 9 to the third is 729. So that's that. On 102, we're trying to, um, again, solve for the variable, which is inside the natural log. So I want to undo the subtraction first, so I'm going to add 5. And I'm left with natural log of 4v equals 3. And so there's a couple different ways to work this, actually. Okay. The easiest way might be to rewrite it as log base e of 4v equals 3 and then convert. So when you convert to an exponential, you say e to the third equals 4v and then just divide by 4. So if you divide by 4, then you get v equals e cubed divided by 4. Okay? Now, the other one option is that when you have natural log of 4v equals 3. So in the same way that natural log cancels out e, e cancels out natural log. So if I just raise both sides to the power of e, then I get 4v equals e cubed, and then we're just right, right there. So just divide by 4 and you get that. Okay? So either way, the answer is e cubed divided by 4. Again, I want to solve for the variable. So 
So the first thing I'm going to do is undo addition or subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 9. Guys, they may not be able to hear you on the video, but I can hear you, and I can hear myself, so be quiet. <laughs> you can talk, but talk a whole lot less loudly. So negative 5 times log base 9 of r equals 5. So then I want to get rid of the negative 5 in the front, so I'm going to divide by negative 5. And I'm left with log base 9 of r equals negative 1. So anytime I have a log equal to a number, I'm going to convert to an exponential. 9 to the negative 1 equals r, or you can say 1 9th. Okay, having a negative power just moves it to the denominator. On 104, I want to get the variable by itself, so or the log by itself. So first I'm going to add 3. And I'm left with negative 9 times log base 11 of 2x plus 8 equals 0. The next thing we want to do is divide by the negative 9. And we're left with, again, 0. So log base 11 of 2x plus 8 equals 0. So the next thing we're going to do, if I've got a log equal to a number, is convert to an exponential. So we got 11 to the 0 equals 2x plus 8. <laughs> okay, 11 to the 0 is 1. And so then all we need to do at this point is solve for x. We need to subtract 8, and we get negative 7 equals 2x, and then divide by 2, and I've got the answer. So x equals a negative 7 halves. Okay. So when I have two logarithms separated by an addition, uh, a symbol or a plus sign, um, I don't have log equal to another log. So it's not like I can cancel out the logs. What I can do is I can combine them into a single log so that I've got like a an, an situation like this where I can just convert to an exponential. So two logarithms separated by addition. So just as a reminder of the rules. Um, log base b of n plus log base b of n <laughs> is the same thing as log base b of n times n. So we combine them using a multiplication. So I'm going to multiply negative 5x times 6. Okay? And so that is a negative 30x, and so I'm just going to, oops, 7, base 7. So now I'm going to convert to an exponential. 7 to the second equals a negative 30x. And 7 squared is 49, so I've got 49 equals a negative 30x. And then to solve for x, I just need to divide by a negative 30, and I'm good. So, divide by negative 30, and I'm good. Negative 49 30ths. If you want. Okay. On 106, again, I've got two logs separated by addition, so I'm going to combine them using multiplication. So I've got log base 3 of, and that inside is going to be x minus 5 times 10. So I've got, I'm going to, I've got a log equal to a number, so I'm going to convert to exponential. 3 
to the first equals, and then I distribute that and I get 10x minus 50. So then I just need to solve this linear equation, so I'm going to add 50. So I've got 53 equals 10x and then divide by 10. And I'm left with 53 over 10 equals x or 5.3. Alright, 107. I've got two logarithms separated by subtraction. I can combine them using division. So the exact opposite of this, if it's plus, then you can combine using multiplication. If it's minus, then we can combine them using division. Okay. So down here I've got log base 2 of x minus 2 divided by x. So this is on top, what's on the bottom. And then I just convert to an exponential. 2 to the second power equals x minus 2 over x. So I'm really dealing with 4 equals x minus 2 over x. So to undo that division, we multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides by x. So I'm left with 4x equals x minus 2 because those two simplify out. And then I just need to combine like terms. So I'm going to subtract this x. And I'm left with 4x minus 1x. That's 3x equals... Oh, I don't know why I became a minus 2. That's x plus 2. So I've got 3x equals 2, and then just divide by the 3, x equals 2 thirds. On 108, we're going to combine these two using division. So log base 5 of 2x squared divided by 2 equals 4. And then um, convert to an exponential. 5 to the 4th equals, now these twos can actually simplify out, and so I'm really just left with x squared. And um, 5 to the 4th is 625, so I've got 625 equals x squared. And then just take the square root. We get plus and minus. x equals plus and minus, and the square root of 625 is 25. So plus and minus 25. <coughs> Alright, 109, last one. If I've got two logs separated by addition, I'm going to combine them using division. So on this one, I've got log base, oop, multiplication. I don't know if I said division, but it's multiplication. So um, log base 8 of this times x plus 42 equals log base 8 of 43. Now I'm back to the, uh, the first types of problems that we had on these where you got a log equal to another log. So if I've got one log equal to another log, then I can just cancel the logs out. And I'm really just dealing with x squared plus 42x equals 43. So I'm going to rewrite that in standard form with everything on the same side. x squared plus 42x minus 43. And then I need to factor. The factors of negative 43 that add up to 42. I'm thinking 1 and 43 with a negative 1. So x minus 1 and x plus 43, which means my answers are 1 and negative 43. Now, going back and looking at the original, um, I've been kind of checking them myself, but something that you do need to remember is that when you plug in a, um, a, a, log, a number into a log, if it gives you a negative, then it doesn't work. So like this one, 2 thirds plus 2 is fine, and 2 thirds is positive. Uh, plus and minus 25 doesn't really matter because you're squaring it, so it's positive. The x right here, it's 5.3, so 5.3 minus 5 is positive. But here I've got log of x, and if I plug in a negative 43, it doesn't work. And if I plug in a 1, I'm fine, but negative 43 does not work, so my only answer is 1. And that is um, 99 to 109.